Following these firearm safety rules can save your life. In this video, we're gonna discuss the firearm safety rules that can save your life if followed consistently. Some of you have heard about the three fundamental rules for safe gun handling. Others have heard about the four basic firearm safety rules. So which set of rules do you follow? The answer is both. There is some overlap and we're gonna get into a little bit of the history of the origin of these firearm safety rules. The NRA teaches three fundamental rules for firearm safety. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Always keep your gun unloaded until ready for use. We're gonna break each one of these down, folks. Number one, always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. This basically means that if the gun were to go off, is anything gonna be damaged or is anyone gonna be injured? If the answer is no, then it should be pointed in a safe direction. At a firing range, this typically means downrange. Now it's easier to do this or keep it pointed downrange when you have a long gun, like a rifle or a shotgun. It's a little more difficult when you have a handgun at the firing range. You have to be cognizant of where that muzzle or end of the barrel is pointing at all times. I've seen this at the range folks where somebody opens up their gun case to shoot their gun and the gun is pointed, the action's closed, the gun is pointing in the direction where people are standing. Nobody knows if the gun's loaded, if it's unloaded. So always keep it in a pointed in a safe direction. Keep in mind how you store your gun in your gun case. So when you're bringing it to the range and you're gonna open up that case, to me, I like to see that the action is open. So you can see if it's a semi-automatic handgun, for example, you can see there's no magazine in there and you can see the action is open. And if you get close enough, you can see there's, there's whether or not there's a round in the chamber. I don't like it when the action's closed and a gun is just sitting on the table. You don't know if the gun's loaded or not loaded. Number two, always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Your finger should be off the trigger, outside the trigger guard, straight along the frame of the gun. Number three, always keep your gun unloaded until ready to use. Of course, this includes the range. So you fire your gun at the range, you shoot all your rounds or you finish that set and you wanna go down range and you wanna check your target at say an outdoor range where you have to physically go to get your target. Your gun should be unloaded, left on that table. It should, in my opinion, it should be unloaded. It should be pointed in a safe direction, which is down range. The magazine should be out if it's a semi-automatic handgun. The action should be open. That slide should be locked to the rear so anyone walking by can glance at that gun and take a look and see that that gun is empty and it's not loaded. At home, if you're gonna store your gun in the safe, it should also be unloaded. Unless the exception would be is if you're keeping a gun for self-defense, for self-protection purposes. In that case, you need that gun ready. You may want to keep it loaded. However, if you are going to keep a gun for self-defense in your home, ready to protect yourself and your family, you need to have that gun secured that if you have kids, they won't be able to have access to it, of course. And if they, you have anyone in your home that shouldn't have access to it, you, should, you need to secure it in a way that that doesn't happen. That is based on your situation and your experience level. Now I have done videos in the past on the four basic rules of firearm safety. Many of you have heard of these rules. They were sanctioned by Lieutenant Colonel John Dean or Jeff Cooper. He was a US Marine deployed during World War II. He also fought in Korea. He was an author, a columnist, a professor, and of course a combat war veteran. He developed modern techniques for combat handgun shooting, and he founded the American Pistol Institute, or API, which became Gunsight Training Center in 1992 and Gunsight Academy in 1999. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out the website. Very interesting, folks. Let's break down these rules. Rule number one, treat every gun as if it were loaded, always. So this includes a gun that you watch somebody unload and they hand you the gun. In my opinion, you should automatically, whenever somebody hands you a gun, you should automatically check that the gun is unloaded yourself. Even if you just watch somebody do it, you should develop that muscle memory. You know you're taking control of that gun. You know you can say for sure you checked it and you know it's unloaded. In this video, I'm going to clear a semi-automatic handgun. The first thing you need to do is make sure the gun is pointed in a safe direction. The second thing you need to do is remove that magazine. The third thing, lock that slide to the rear. And then finally, visually and physically inspect that gun, that chamber, to see that there is not a round in there. 
it's a low light situation, you might need a flashlight. As we all know, someone who's very inexperienced around guns may think they watch somebody remove the magazine of a semi-automatic pistol. They may think that that gun is unloaded when in fact we know that there very well could be a round in the chamber. So the entire gun has to be checked, of course. You have to develop these safety habits early on, folks. Rule number two, never point your gun at anything or anyone you're not willing to destroy. You have to realize the enormous potential for destruction that firearms have. They are not inherently dangerous. So for example, an unloaded gun in a safe poses absolutely no threat, but they are terribly unforgiving of any carelessness or neglect. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until you're lined up on your target and you've made the decision to fire. Now, I mentioned this before, this is especially important if you have a gun that has what's called a light trigger pull, meaning that it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to pull that trigger and, and fire the gun. So if you have your finger that's near the trigger or resting on the trigger and you get startled or there's a sudden movement, you can pull that trigger enough to fire the gun. Your trigger finger needs to be straight along the frame of the gun above the trigger guard at all times until you're ready to fire. Rule number four, always know your target and what's beyond it. We're going to add what's in front of your target as well, because something could move in front of your target between you and your target right before you fire. So you need to know what's going on in front of your target, beyond and beyond your target, of course. You have to identify what you're shooting at. If you don't know what you're shooting at, of course, you don't want to fire. You have to always be thinking, what if my rounds go through the target? Because they may go through, right? And you are responsible, just like police officers, Everyone is responsible for every round that comes out of their gun. You can't say, well, I didn't expect it to go through. I was shooting at this thing or this person and I didn't expect it to go through. You are responsible for every round that comes out of your gun. And if it's a self-defense situation, you're gonna to have to make the decision whether or not to shoot. That's what police officers have to do. They have to determine, is it safe for me to shoot? Even though they might be justified in shooting, they may not take a shot if they're, they're unsure what's beyond their target. Whether you've been around firearms your whole life or whether you're brand new to firearms, follow the safety rules each and every time, be consistent, and you'll build that muscle memory. That way you'll be safe each and every time. If you want information on in-person training, please click on the link in the video above and also in the description. Uh, we have partner companies that we can provide in-person training for you. Also, I want to give a shout out to our channel members. I appreciate you supporting the channel and joining. And if you're anyone's interested in joining the channel with a membership, please click on that join button for uh, an intro video, which will give you more information. Also, there's a link in the description. If you like this video, folks, please hit that like button and share it with anyone you think will benefit. Also, consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when we release new videos. As always folks, thanks for watching, take care and stay safe.